Hey, today we're going to be going over the Atmo 2 Pro, your personal air quality coach. Just a quick unboxing, then we're going to be going over how to set it up. Um, for this, you're going to need two apps on your phone, and you're going to need a dedicated phone that you can always have connected to it. I don't advise using your personal phone. You won't be able to keep it connected all the time. Um, so in the box, you can see we have the Atmo 2 Pro itself, pretty small. It has a single LED and it has a USB-C charging port on the bottom and then a button on the front and a little clip on the top and then it comes with a USB-C to USA charging cord and then it comes with a little clip that you can hang on the top and there it is alright so the first app you're gonna need is the Atmo 2 Pro app so go ahead and download that it's in the Google Play Store and the App Store on iOS and then you're going to allow all these settings. You're going to allow Bluetooth. You're going to allow location. And that way it's going to be able to communicate with your device. And then go ahead and hit continue. And then sign up with email. So I use the same email for everything. I recommend using the same email that you use for your Planet Watch license as the same that you use for the Planet Watch wearables app and I would just use the same for this one as well so after you create a username and password you're gonna log in and update your firmware if a new firmware updates available click OK if it didn't show available you can check your firmware by clicking those three little bars in the upper left hand corner and then you're going to go into the settings and click check firmware alright and then once it syncs up it's connected 100%. So we're good to go. Um, so this is in the settings. This is important. You want to change the mode from 10 minutes to always on. That way it's never turning off. And you'll just be continuously sending those streams of Planet Watch, which is what you want. All right. The next app you're going to need is the Planet Watch wearable app. And you're going to have to set that up. So it says access required. You have to register your sensor before viewing the sensor. And to do that, we're going to connect to the Atmo 2 Pro. And it's going to ask for an email address. And you're going to create a six digit PIN. And it's important that the PIN cannot start with a zero. And I'll show you at the end of the video how you can change that PIN. All right, so it's very important that you use the same email address that you use to purchase your Planet license, um, your Planet Watch license. So make sure that you have a Planet Watch license. If you don't, click the video in the upper right hand corner right now and I'll walk you through it. All right, after you're finished with that, it's gonna show you a little disclaimer. Go ahead and read through it if you want, but you're going to check the box to accept and hit continue. And don't forget to write down your seed phrase. It's very important, 25 words. You don't wanna misplace those. You're going to need them. You're gonna need them to confirm. After you set it up, it's gonna ask you three questions it's going to ask you the first one's the 24th word then the 20 20th word and then the fourth word and if you didn't write them down you're not going to know it but i can't stress enough the importance of writing those down and having them as a backup just in case you ever need to import your wallet again and all it's doing is creating another algorand wallet if you already have one i believe there's a way to merge the two i haven't tried it yet but i kind of like having the two algorand wallets because uh, you can see the balances in this, you know, you can import one wallet into the other account and you can see them both on the same app and it, it's pretty convenient. Um, that way you can differentiate where you're getting your planets from and seeing how each device is doing. So next from the Planet Watch, um, you're going to connect your sensor and then you're going to log in with your email address and your PIN that you created so put that in and then hit registration and then there goes your wallet and it's all set up and you're good to go from here and then on the sensor screen you'll be able to monitor your air quality score now this is the page I actually keep up all the time on my iPhone 8 I just leave it up and it's always connected, it's always streaming data, you know, it's right next to the Atma 2 Pro. As long as you have a phone that you're not going to use all the time, it really doesn't matter. I just put the screen settings all the way dim so it's not affecting anything. 
All right, so we're going to go to planetwatch.us, and then you're going to go to Explore. And then you just sign in. And once you sign in, you're going to go to your account, and then select My Sensors. And here you can see my two sensors. I have the Aware Element, and then I have the Atmo2 Pro. So if I select Atmo2 Pro, this is actually where you can update your pin if you forget it and you need to log into the app. But other than that, it's just set it and forget it. As you can see, my last payout was 23.04 planets. And I have it running on an iPhone 8 that I'm not using it anymore. And it's just continuously running. And it's uh, always hooked up. It's always earning. So I have no problems with that. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Please subscribe for more. i got plenty of videos coming out. And thanks for watching.